Hi everyone, uh, today we're going to discuss about hormones and dental health, what every woman should know. Hi Dr. Vidya, Dr. Vidya is a practicing dentist in Scarborough. Hello Dr. Yalini, Dr. Yalini also is a practicing dentist and she's practicing in Markham. And uh, so Dr. Yalini, why women's dental health is very important? Uh, there's always a link between oral health and overall health. The gum inflammation can go beyond the health of a woman's smile. It can also lead to heart disease, stroke, diabetes, Alzheimer's, preterm labor also. So gum disease is a painful, non-painful condition and always detected in the advanced stages. When bleeding is detected, it's far gone beyond. So dentists always recommend prevention before disaster. So your best defense is to do proper brushing and flossing and do regular visits to the dental dentist. And what are the five stages of women's life is considered here in the discussion, Dr. Vidya? Yeah, the five unique phases that we can consider in a woman's life are puberty, menstruation, pregnancy, and menopause. And also we can consider people taking birth control tablets and who, who are interested in IVF treatments also because during these times there is an extra flow of hormones which changes the oral health requirements of a woman. So because of these hormonal changes the gum disease is also uh, seen in an extra proportion and as precautions uh, the routine proper brushing and flossing every day is recommended together with using mouthwash or tongue cleansers which also will help in controlling the gum disease and your regular visit to your dentist is very important and out of all these stages uh, pregnancy is considered a very important because it brings a lot of changes in a woman's body and emotions and thus bring a lot of changes in the gums as well. So what are the advice that uh, we can give to the women who are pregnant? Yes, pregnancy will cause morning sickness, acid reflux and gag reflux as well. So what happens is when the stomach acids come to your mouth, the teeth become incredibly soft and prone to cavities. So when you get this, don't do not go and brush your teeth right away. So what you have to do is first swish and scrape with water, or you can use a diluted mouth rinse, or you can use one cup of water with one teaspoon of sodium bicarbonate so that it will neutralize the acid, and then wait for 30 minutes before you go and brush. And also when you get gag reflux, you can try and change the flavor of the toothpaste, use small head brush, and also try different day, uh, the different times of the day uh, to brush, yes. And um, what do you think, Dr. Vidya, is it safe to go to dentist during pregnancy? Yes, absolutely. And I think it's, in fact, it's very important that a woman visits the dentist while she is pregnant. And because it is highly recommended that they get their cleaning or the regular dental checkup done, during their second trimester and also in their early third trimester. And uh, the next uh, stage that we can consider is the menopause, during which again, due to the hormonal changes, the woman undergoes some bodily changes as well as emotional changes, which in turn affects their oral health as well. So main problems that I could think are the dry mouth, canker sores and osteoporosis which can affect a woman's uh, oral health uh, in magnitudes. So um, in addition to our regular brushing, flossing and regular checkups, what are the other advices that you may give to a woman who is undergoing this problem? 
Yeah, especially when, uh, when they're encountering the dry mouth, mm -hmm. I think it's better to hydrate them properly. Uh, hydration is very important. And we have to avoid salty, sweet and spicy food mm -hmm. and also hard food that make uh, the teeth crack. And take a lot of citrus so that your salivary flow is increased and avoid alcohol and caffeine drinks like coffee. And also when you have osteoporosis, it can affect the bones as well as the gums as well. Mm -hmm. So eating healthy food and taking vitamins contain calcium and vitamin D can reduce the severity of the osteoporosis. So in summary, what we can tell for the ladies? Yeah, yeah. In summary, I would like to say the main thing that we have to consider for all these um, gum or hormonal changes in women, uh, we have to uh, maintain the best oral health that we can achieve by proper brushing and flossing every day and also your regular visit to the dentist is considered very important so that you will be able to maintain your smile for a longer period. Thank you, Thank you. Dr. Vidya. Thank you, Dr. Yarmi. Thank you for listening to us. We'll keep you posted with other videos as well. Thank you.